Welcome to part three of our WebEx calling video series. In the previous video, we explored the new Cisco WebEx calling application. In this video, we are going to take a look at the management interface for WebEx calling. Some key items for this video will be Control Hub, CAP, or the Calling Administrator Portal, and CUP, the Calling User Portal. We will explain the differences and how each of these portals interact throughout this video. We will begin in Control Hub, which is located at admin.webex.com. I recommend running this in Chrome or Firefox. Control Hub is your one pane of class for all of collaboration. So we have our messaging options, our meeting, meeting options, and our calling options. I'm going to focus on calling for the sake of this video. If we scroll down, we can see all of our users in our organization. If I click on one, I can see their messaging, meeting, and calling settings, as well as their hybrid services, if they have any configured. Uh, roles and security, this will be if you want to make this user an admin or have like read-only uh, access. Their devices, location, and some settings. Places will be for your video endpoints, such as room kits, DX80s, web exports. These will all be uh, registered here. Services is where we will get into the meat of calling. We can have our numbers, locations, features. Our features consist of hunt group, call park, call pickup groups, call queues, paging groups, and the receptionist client. This all technically gets uh, configured in CAP or the calling administrator portal. So if you create a new feature, select an auto attendant, this will go ahead and place an order once you put the location and number you want it to have, and it will launch CAP, which CAP is where Broad Cloud really has empowered the feature set uh, from a calling standpoint, right? So I'll go ahead and launch CAP just so you can see it. Another way to do that is from hitting the settings icon. And again, this is just going to go into the calling settings, another layer of, of manageability. Where we can see all of our users my devices, our numbers, and our advanced services. So this is where you're going to configure your auto attendance, those call queues, call pickups, and call park. But really want to focus on a user. So if I come here to my demo one user and edit it, can see all, all of my options for this individual user. I can see their name. I can see the user assignments. I can see their voicemail settings, their call forwarding devices, especially if they have the WebEx calling application for mobile and PC. That will also be listed here. Um, I can see their extension, their caller ID, um, monitoring. This will be for your busy landfill speed dials that come up on your phones. Um, we have some hoteling some sharing options, some privacy, barge in, and push to talk settings. So these two views are going to be for your administrators, right? So we launch everything through Control Hub, and then we can open it up through CAP to see more visibility into our calling settings, especially with our reports and analytics. We can see who's calling, um, where the call originate, um, how long was it that it last? We can see everything from from that standpoint. Um, but we also have the capability for our users to have a portal, right, which is going to be CUP. This will be located at settings.webex.com. And we wanted to keep this uh, portal very simple, right? We just want to alleviate some of that load off of our administrator um, so they can see things like their SIP address, their, the name. We can change your language settings. We can open up the WebEx calling or cut portal um, where they can do things like their own call forwards. They can see their call history, their voicemail settings. Um, they can get a look at the directory. They also have their apps. This is where you download the client for uh, desktop and mobile. We also have some messaging settings and meeting settings. 
So it's pretty high level, pretty simple. Um, we don't want this end user to be able to do any damage to the entire organization, but at the same time, be a convenience and alleviate some of that load off of our admin. That's a high level overview for our management interface for WebEx calling. We saw Control Hub, CAP, and CUP. This concludes our WebEx calling video series. Thanks for joining. Welcome to calling.